the Samsung Galaxy S21 is the top dog of any Galaxy Slab smartphones and it will be replaced by the Galaxy S22 lineup in the coming 6 or 7 months and judging by the past probably in January 2022. Now the upcoming series is also expected to have 3 models and now the display sizes of these 3 have now been revealed. Now to be honest the information a little bit conflicting but not that much. Maybe because of the different ways of measuring it. But both sources reveal that the Galaxy S22 Ultra will feature the LTPO back panel for its OLED display. Now, according to one source, the Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and the S22 Ultra will, will feature 6.1 inch, 6.5 to 6.6 inch, and 6.8 inch display, respectively. The other source, however, suggests the Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra will measure like this way. So the difference between their claims are not too far apart from each other. So more like this year's lineup, the pricier the model gets, the bigger the display it offers. Either way, the best Galaxy S22 variant and the S22 Plus appears to have slightly smaller displays compared to the S21 and S21 Plus, while the S22 Ultra will keep the 6.8 inch diagonal size. Now, no other display specification got revealed by the sources, but the other display selfie camera might come to the S22 Ultra or might not. But it is pretty much heavily rumored that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will feature the under display selfie camera at least in the inside display. Check out my this episode to know more. Now not just that Mao Kio HD also claiming that the Samsung has owned the orders for the both next generation Qualcomm Snapdragon 895 processor and definitely its own Exynos 2200. Now we know that both Samsung and TSMC are competing to get the orders for the production of the Qualcomm's next big thing in the mobile processing power of course. But now it seems like Samsung has owned the competition with its fabrication method. The 5N processor will be here until the next node step in, at least in the flagship segment. Samsung in particular is so confident in its founder's technology that it has reportedly shifted to 4N process for the Snapdragon 895 and Exynos 2200, which is insane to be honest. And if you're liking these kind of videos, please hit the like button, please do subscribe and I appreciate that. Now recently we heard that the upcoming Galaxy Watch 4 gonna launch soon and my smart price now reports that both variants of the Watch 4 connectivity wise have now been spotted on FCC website. Now there are two model numbers, one for the Wi-Fi variant and one for the LTE variant. Now FCC certification means that it's going to release very soon, that's a great thing. Now according to recent leak, the blood glucose monitoring feature will probably not gonna come. And the Watch 4 is going to offer freshly updated Google's Wear OS operating system instead of Samsung's Tizen, which is by the way a mix of Google's Wear OS and Tizen too, so it doesn't really matter. Now it will be refreshing though. The Watch 4 is also expected to come in two sizes, 42mm and 46mm one. Now on top of that, an improved 5mm chipset is also expected to power the smartwatch, which is a good thing. Now according to Max Weinbach, the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch Active 4 will probably be announced on August of this year, the 3rd August. And according to John Prosser, these smartwatches will hit the shelves on Wednesday, August 11th. So yeah, that's a great thing. And if you want this news earlier than ever, please check out my website, link down below, johndavid.com. Check the website out, it's stunning. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, please hit the like button, please do subscribe or watch my other videos. Bye and... Take care.